It's Bissell brush roll bearing repair time. So we have a situation where the bearings are shot. Well, not only shot, but also fairly locked up. So you can do this a bunch of different ways. This is not a uh, bearing grease. This is a penetrant. This is a bearing grease. So what I'm going to do is just give that a little squirt right there. You'll see why in a minute. And give this a little squirt right there. Now, I've already done two of these. I have more to do. And while we're waiting for that to soak in a little bit, I have a bunch of uh, 608Z bearings. Um, in fact, I've got a brand new 10 pack I haven't opened. That's a certain brand. This is a PGN brand. I don't know, I have maybe seven? One, two, three, yeah, I got seven left in here. So I have a bunch of different ones in here. So what you want to do, now if you've got other tools, you obviously already know what to do. But what I'll do with minimal tools is see the see this round end right here as opposed to uh, kind of more like a like an oval so I will go and get a socket so this one is um, 17 what is this one this one's a 17 millimeter it fits over this plastic ridge you don't want to be on it like this you know, it over like this because we're going to try to drive just a little bit of the center axle out hence the lubricant so I have a punch otherwise known as a quarter inch extension and yep, it's going to get loud. And I just want to punch this out a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. It's already moving. That's good. It's doing the dance. Yep, it's coming out. It's absolutely coming out. I don't think... Can I get that out yet? Now, normally what I've done, especially on the Hoover brush rolls, is frankly, I just grab and I twist. And I found out with these Bissell brush rolls, in many cases, I just, I don't really have enough strength to, to do that. Because it's, it's splined in there, and I don't have enough strength to, to grab that, especially since now my hands are a little greasy. So I'm going to drive this out a little bit more. Maybe I'll put this on the paper towel so it doesn't walk so much. But essentially what I need to do is drive out that axle, I don't know, maybe quarter inch or so. It's not that far. Maybe I'll keep me from walking. Not coming out farther. As I zoom in, you probably won't be able to see that, but we're almost there. Just going slow. Let's see, can I get that out yet? Oh, not yet. I was hoping that I could. No, maybe I'll have to run this in fast motion. I want to do it slowly because I don't want to actually break this brush roll or the end caps or anything like that. So come on, dude. My hands are a little greasy. Come on. Make me look good in front of the camera. All right. This one's going to need some more coaxing. <laughs> what can I say? Do it as many times as you need. You can also hit it harder, too. I mean, that, that works well. All right. That had to do it. That had to do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's a ticket. And we'll be able to pop that back on. It'll, it'll hold on just fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Okay. So we have rusty bearing right here. And then this obviously is, you know, it's sticking out proud a little bit. So we just go thunk and then it comes out. Well, one side anyway. So let's see. Side out. I want to show you the bearing and its its holder. 
because there's also a finger spring in here as well. So you can see it's got some rust in it. And you know what? Is that? That's rusted in there too. Isn't that fun? Okay, let's see. Does this work? Will that fit in there? Yeah. So that was actually rusted in there as well. Yay! Lots and lots of rust. Isn't that fantastic? And you wonder why I do stuff, you know, like on, in high speed a lot. Because, you know, this is kind of boring for some people to, to watch. There we go. So, let me show you what I popped out of here. So, you have flash. You have the bearing itself, right? There's both sides. And that's all rusted, locked up. See, it's a little 608Z. means metal on both sides. And then here's a little finger spring. So that needs to actually go in there first. Okay, let's keep going. So that's one end. Now one thing I'm going to check is, is fitment. Sometimes bearings are a little different. So you see how that goes on that shaft very easily? It's, it's very loose. So let me see which bearing does that, because I don't want to be pounding that in. Okay, guess what? So the PGN bearings, yeah, that's that's not going to work, or it's not going to work very easily. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, it's just it's a tighter fitment. All right, that's good, that's fine. And this is a different brand. I forget. Uh, it's a uh, I don't know, like A B B A B E C, I think, something like that. Let's see how these fit. Oh, geez, that was easy. All right, so either one doesn't doesn't matter. I think uh, the PGN right here is just a little bit tighter fit. It's the difference is is small. All right, so we can use a couple of those. I like using these PGN brands for my uh, real high speed applications. They work well. You know, like ten thousand RPM motors, that kind of thing. So, there's a rusty one, and what I will do is I can clean this up a little bit. Don't have to be super sloppy with everything. There you go. So, that cleans the rust out well enough. I'll clean up the finger spring. All right, that's good. I suppose I could dry some of that off just a little bit. Then... I'll put some of my Magic Blue Mobile Polyrex electric motor bearing grease. I mean, that's what it's designed for. It does a great job. So a bearing never gets rusty and stuck back in here again. I'll do this. And then I'll grease up the finger spring. Put that in first. Get a bearing here. And it should push in there. It pushes in just with your thumbs, and that's ready to go. Okay, so that's one end. <laughs> that's one end. Now, what about the other end? Well, this ought to be entertaining. Let's see how I get rid of that. <clears throat> so now, let's see. I know, I think, the easiest thing is, is I'm going to put this back in here. And pound that out just a little bit. But I'm going to need something bigger than that. Let me see what I have. Yeah, that's a little bigger, isn't it? It's just a uh, 1 and 1 16. There. Fit that right in there. That'll be good. Nothing will split. And then, there we go, pound that flat again, because hopefully this will separate, yeah, it's getting loose, er, relatively speaking, come on, come on, now it's all kind of rust together, big pile, come on. If I have some other debris stuck in there, I mean, something else that I wasn't aware of. Come on. 
Really? You're gonna make me look bad on, on camera live, aren't you? Aren't you? I have to coax it a little bit. Every uh, brush roll repair is not the same. <laughs> I can tell you that. They're all different. Some of them require a lot of extra effort. Some of them just fall apart right in your hands and you can get to everything just fine. Come on. Little booger. So that's really that's really in there, isn't it? Let me get some grippies here. You never know what tools you're going to need until you need them, I suppose. Come on. That is really, really stuck in there. Come on. It won't separate. Well, maybe what I'll have to do is just pound the axle out completely. Not like I've never done that before. All right. See if I can make that happen. Yep, see, I'm out of space here. All right, let's do this. Hey, how about that? We have a good, that's, you know, that's a fairly um, sturdy axle. I mean, that thing's thick. And it's, that's in pretty good shape too. All right. Yeah, so there's some extra goo in there. Some extra bonus material. Isn't that fun? Okay, so uh, hmm. let's get this end cap back off and prepare to change the bearing. Uh, where'd we go? All right. Pound this little dude out. Come on, out you go. You're uh, you're pretty stuck in there. Might have to get a socket or something. A different socket. There's one end. All right, is that enough? You gonna come out now? This thing this thing's even rustier than the last one. Yep. Rusty, rusty. Come on out, dude. Out, out, out. Out, 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 out. Okay, there we go. Now I'll show you how, show you how nasty this one was. See the flash. Here we go. Isn't that yummy? There's both sides, and here's the finger spring in there. Ugh, nifty. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. All right, let's keep going. See, we're getting there. If you're doing a whole bunch of these at once, you can fly through this stuff. It's really not a big deal. Let's clean everything up as much as possible. You know, I was going to tag this on the end of the Mrs. Fact Lab Live video, but I'm already seeing that it's so long. I think it kind of uh, warrants its own video slot. All right, let's grease her up. Now here's... There's the problems right there. Okay, there's a fingerprint uh, spring uh, greased up. Put that back down in there. Got the new bearing. Let's see if two thumbs will get that in. Yep, it will. Okay, 
fantastic. Wonderful. Some stuff out of the way here. Don't need it. Now, what I do, now this right here, you can see there's no rust on this. But to prevent rust, you could go and put a little more grease all over it. Just, just a little bit. You don't have to bathe it in it. Just, just a little bit, because grease repels water. So for some reason, this were to ever get, I guess, excessively damp, um, this now will almost be guaranteed not to rust. Yeah, for the most part. Life isn't perfect, but uh, it helps. All right. So now let's get some more stuff out of the way. Now let's see. I think this side we'll put in... I guess I can put that in on one side here. Doesn't matter because they're both going to have to go in one way or another. Push that down, right? And then this side's going to go in here. And that will slot in. Let's push it down just a little bit. Okay, so we have a good we have a good fitment. All right, that's that's decent. <laughs> it spins now. <laughs> that's cool. All right, now let's see. I think where the belt is, that's where the round cap goes. And it's completely round. So I'll put that in. Locate the far end. Ah, oh, fantastic. And here's this cap. All right, wonderful. Now this I can kind of pound down a little bit on its own so it comes flat. Yeah, pretty much where it's flush and then this end I can stick right on here and then pound it the west of the rest of the way down that's it and it's even and now we have a brush roll that has some new bearings in it and they're going to be a little uh, a little tight at this point in time it's not going to spin as as free as, as you'd like it will loosen up I mean they're literally brand new bearings so they're they're a little on the tight side but these, uh, these will spin just fine. So isn't that great? So I'll show you what the result is here on both ends. So we took the rusty locked up bearings out and now you can see we have the axle installed properly. We have a little bit of it proud on both of the plastic ends. And now it will actually spin without locking up. So isn't that great? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. So it's no fun unless you run it. By the way, I figured since I was already doing uh, one brush roll, one purple brush roll, I went ahead and did another one off camera. It was about an additional 10 minutes. But let's see how this purple power force brush roll came out. Or more importantly, let's hear how smooth it sounds. That's almost like brand new. I have a new belt on there too. is a little too much when you put it on position three so I run it on position four for this carpet but yeah it runs literally very close to a new machine minus the scratches and stuff that you see in here all right thanks for watching and stay tuned for more